There's a secret underwater drone that represents some of the most advanced submersible military technology available. The classified project is being kept out of the eyes of the public as much as possible, for now. But some details are known about this exciting development known as Manta Ray. Let's take a closer look at this and other industry-leading autonomous vehicles. But before we get started, if you enjoy this video and would like to see more just like it, remember to give us a like and subscribe to Military World to get more sent straight to your notifications. Engineers from Northrop Grumman have assembled an autonomous underwater drone that the U.S. Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency plans to use for long-range missions in the world's oceans. The engineering giant won the $41.2 million contract to produce and test a UUV prototype for the second phase of the DARPA-funded project in 2021. It's called Manta Ray. And this drone is modeled after filter-feeding fish of the same name with diamond-shaped bodies and wing-like fins. It's been called this as the Manta is known for its graceful and efficient movements in the water. This is exactly what this prototype is capable of. Northrop Grumman has built an extra-large glider capable of operating long-duration payloaded missions without needing onboard human support and maintenance. DARPA launched the Manta Ray program back in 2020 to improve underwater vehicle design. This included developing techniques to increase payload capacity and conserve energy. It's thought that once deployed, the Manta could save energy by anchoring itself to the seabed and hibernating in a low power mode. The agency initially selected three contractors, Northrop Grumman, Martin Defense Group LLC, and Metron Incorporated, but the latter dropped out at the end of 2021. Since then, Northrop Grumman and Martin have developed their own prototypes of the drone for in-water demonstrations and testing. The latest footage of the Manta's population appears to focus on the design of the Ray's full-size, uncrewed underwater vehicle prototype, highlighting its current propulsion system and rear section, details of which have been more or less hidden, or at least shown submerged previously. A close-up look at the Manta Ray's propeller with four blades has been seen highlighting its design and engineering details. The video confirms that the underwater drone is propelled via two rear propellers instead of four as the computer-generated footage of the vehicle released in 2020 suggested. The autonomous sub has been designed to move through the ocean for extremely long periods of time without supervision or the need to refuel. Once deployed, the vehicle uses efficient, buoyancy-driven gliding to move through the water. The Ray is capable of diving to significant depths and can explore areas that are challenging for human divers to reach. It's been speculated that the U.S. Navy wants to develop a drone capable of long missions to scour the seas for Russian and Chinese submarines. This could be the solution to this need. The craft is designed with several payload bays of multiple sizes and types to enable a wide variety of naval mission sets. It has also been designed to be easily transported around the world for rapid deployment and has been tested off the coast of Southern California in early 2024. The prototype was built in Maryland before being shipped in sections to its test location. The successful full-scale manta ray testing has validated the vehicle's readiness to advance toward real-world operations after being rapidly assembled in the field from modular subsections. The combination of cross-country modular transportation in-field assembly, and subsequent deployment shows a first-of-its-kind capability for an extra-large underwater drone. The U.S. isn't the only nation to be developing such a technology. In September 2021, researchers at a Chinese university developed a manta ray-shaped drone with the intended purpose of collecting information about the contested Paracel Islands. The country now has six variants of what is described as soft-bodied submersibles that imitate the manta ray and they have started what is called practical deployment in the South China Sea. That current version is equipped with cameras, sonar, and the Beidou satellite navigation system. Northrop Grumman is a world leader in designing this autonomous technology. On top of the Manta, they are also responsible for the AQS-24BC mine hunting system. Successful tests have also been conducted with this technology. Northrop has multiple versions of the AQS-24 to provide mine hunting capabilities for navies. 
The AQS-24B is a deployed system which uses side-scan sonar for real-time detection, localization, and classification of bottom and moored mines on top of a laser line scanner for precise identification. This data can be sent to a remote sonar operator who can then start real-time mission analysis of all recorded mission data. Another exciting offering from the company is the X-47B, which made its first flight in 2011 and made history two years later by successfully launching from the USS George H.W. Bush, becoming the first unmanned aircraft to take off from an aircraft carrier. The aircraft is designed to operate autonomously, with advanced flight control systems allowing it to perform complex maneuvers without any need for human intervention. Carrier takeoffs and landings, in-flight refueling, and mission planning can all be done autonomously. The X-47B was a demonstrator model and is not in operational service, but its successful trials have significantly impacted the U.S. Navy's approach to integrating unmanned systems. This has been taken forward to the testing of the Manta. The two X-47B aircraft are now retired and have been displayed at museums, including the National Air and Space Museum and the Naval Air Museum. And Northrop has been working on autonomous vehicles for a lot longer than you might think. Development of the RQ-4 Global Hawk started in the 1990s, and the vehicle's primary use is for intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance missions. The aircraft provides real-time, high-resolution imagery and signal intelligence over large geographic areas for extended periods. The Hawk can stay aloft for over 34 hours, providing continuous coverage of large areas and with a range of approximately 12,300 nautical miles, it is capable of intercontinental flights without refueling. Because of this, the RQ-4 has been deployed in various conflict zones and battle zones, including the Middle East, Asia, and Africa. It has been used for a wide range of missions, including battlefield surveillance, border security, disaster response, and environmental monitoring. Another technology that was developed in the 90s by Northrop Grumman is Fire Scout. It was developed with the goal of providing the Navy with an unmanned rotary wing platform capable of autonomous takeoff, landing, and flight operations. Its primary mission was to enhance the Navy's ability to conduct intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance missions, as well as providing targeting support and communications relay. The Fire Scout is designed to be used completely autonomously, with capabilities for automatic takeoff, landing, and navigation. It can be controlled from shipboard or land-based control stations, which gives it flexibility for different operational environments. The Fire Scout has significantly improved the Navy's ISR capabilities, given the ability for persistent surveillance and real-time intelligence gathering in both maritime and littoral environments. Its versatility and adaptability have demonstrated the value of unmanned systems in modern naval operations, influencing the development of future unmanned platforms, just like the Manta Ray. The Manta Ray drone uses cutting-edge navigation systems, allowing it to navigate complex underwater terrains autonomously. Its real-time data transmission capabilities enable researchers and operators to monitor its findings live. This is essential for the future of modern warfare. The drone represents a huge step forward in underwater exploration technology. Its autonomous capabilities reduce the need for manned submersibles, lowering risks and operational expenses. This matches a growing trend across all militaries to reduce potential casualties. Future developments may see enhancements in the Manta's AI systems, allowing for even more sophisticated underwater tasks and missions. Efforts to try and keep the ray and its location secret have so far not been completely successful. The prototype was spotted when Google Maps users started exploring the coasts around Naval Base San Diego. Satellite images showing the vessel docked at Port Wyneme Naval Base in California went viral before some social media users said the satellite images were removed and replaced with what people believed were edited boats. Whether or not it can be kept hidden, the Manta Ray underwater drone showcases the potential for state-of-the-art robotics to transform our approach to ocean exploration and monitoring, providing valuable intelligence during underwater operations. What are your thoughts on the Manta Ray? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give us a like and subscribe to Military World to get our latest videos straight to your notifications.